This video explains how to fix your HP printer when it stops printing and a paper jam error message displays on the printer control panel or on your computer. Turn the printer off and on again. This will sometimes fix the issue. Press the power button to turn the printer off. Once the printer is off, wait 60 seconds. It is important to wait the full 60 seconds to allow the print mechanism to reset. Then, press the power button to turn the printer back on. Wait for the printer to turn on and stop making noise. Align a stack of paper by tapping it on a flat surface. Then slide out the input tray. Load paper into the input tray until it stops. Slide the paper width guide inward until it stops at the edge of the paper. Do not push the guide in so tightly that it starts to bend the paper. Slide in the input tray. Try printing a page directly from the printer's control panel to see if the issue is resolved. On the control panel, press the right arrow to display additional options. Touch Setup. Then touch Tools. Touch Printer Status Report. If the page prints successfully, the issue is resolved. You can resume printing as normal. If the page does not print, go on to the next step. In this step, we will clear any jams from inside the printer and the paper tray. Begin by removing any loose paper from the input tray. Grasp any jammed whole sheets of paper in the paper tray with both hands to avoid tearing, and then pull the paper toward you to remove it. Remove the paper as carefully as possible. Use a flashlight to check for any torn pieces of paper. If any torn pieces of paper remain inside the printer, more paper jams are likely to occur. Press the power button to turn off the printer. In some cases, it might not turn off. Whether or not the printer turns off, in the next step, you need to unplug the printer. Turn to the back of the printer. If present, remove the USB cable from the printer. Unplug the power cord. Return to the front. Open the cartridge access door. Check the cartridge access area for jammed paper. If you see any paper, remove it from the printer. You might see some excess ink on the paper as you pull it out of the printer. This is normal. Use a flashlight to thoroughly search the area to find all small scraps of paper. If any torn pieces of paper remain inside the printer, more paper jams are likely to occur. Now let's check inside the cleanout door for any jams. Locate the cleanout door handle near the back of the printer. Grasp the handle and pull the cleanout door up and out to remove it from the printer. Check the cleanout area for jammed paper. If you see any paper, remove it by pulling evenly with both hands to avoid tearing. Check the paper feed path for torn pieces of paper that might remain inside the printer. Use a flashlight to thoroughly search the area to find all small scraps of paper. If any torn pieces of paper remain inside the printer, more paper jams are likely to occur. Reinsert the cleanout door. To do this, Gently push the door into the clean-out area and push down until it snaps into place. Close the cartridge access door. Next, let's check underneath the printer for jammed paper. Slide out the paper input tray. Using both hands, gently rotate the printer until it rests on its side. If you see any paper, remove it by pulling evenly with both hands to avoid tearing.
Also check underneath the printer for torn pieces of paper that might remain inside the printer. Use a flashlight to thoroughly search the area to find all small scraps of paper. If any torn pieces of paper remain inside the printer, more paper jams are likely to occur. Using both hands, gently rotate the printer and return it to its original position. Slide in the paper input tray. Turn to the back. Reconnect the power cord. Return to the front. If the printer does not automatically turn on, press the power button to turn on the printer. Align a stack of paper by tapping it on a flat surface. Then slide out the input tray. Load paper into the input tray until it stops. Slide the paper width guide inward until it stops at the edge of the paper. Do not push the guide in so tightly that it starts to bend the paper. Slide in the input tray. Try printing a page directly from the printer's control panel to see if the issue is resolved. On the control panel, press the right arrow to display additional options. Touch Setup. Then touch Tools. Touch Printer Status Report. If the page prints successfully, the issue is resolved. You can reconnect the USB cable and resume printing as normal. If the page does not print, go on to the next step. Use the following steps to make sure the carriage can move freely. The printer must still be on for these steps to work. Open the cartridge access door so that you can view the carriage. The carriage will move into the access area. Turn to the back of the printer. While the printer is still on, disconnect the power cord from the printer. Then disconnect the other end of the power cord from its power source. Return to the front. Look inside the printer and check for obstructions around the carriage that could prevent it from moving. Use a flashlight for proper viewing. Remove any obstructions that are found. Check the rollers and wheels for torn pieces of paper that might remain inside the printer. If pieces of paper remain inside the printer, more jams are likely to occur. Reach into the cartridge access area and then manually move the carriage. Remove any obstructions that are found while moving the carriage. Ensure the carriage moves freely from all the way to the left to all the way to the right. Once all obstructions are removed and the carriage can move the full width of the carriage path, close the cartridge access door. Turn to the back. Reconnect the power cord into its power source. Then reconnect the other end of the power cord into the printer. Return to the front. If the printer does not automatically turn on, press the power button to turn on the printer. Try printing a page directly from the printer's control panel to see if the issue is resolved. On the control panel, press the right arrow to display additional options. Touch Setup. Then touch Tools. Touch Printer Status Report. If the page prints successfully, the issue is resolved. You can reconnect the USB cable and resume printing as normal. If the page does not print, go on to the next step. Printer rollers get dirty from dust, paper fiber, and other debris. In this step, we'll clean the rollers. Before you begin, gather the following cleaning materials. Clean, lint-free cloth. Clean water. Distilled or bottled water is preferable, but not required. Do not use alcohol or other chemical cleaners. Slide out the input tray and remove the paper.
Slide in the input tray. Press the power button to turn off the printer. Turn to the back. Disconnect the power cord. Return to the front. Open the cartridge access door. Locate the clean-out door handle near the back of the printer. Grasp the handle and pull the clean-out door up and out to remove it from the printer. You will perform some additional steps on this door shortly. Clean the rollers visible in the printer with a clean, lint-free cloth lightly moistened with water. The cloth should be damp but not soaking wet. Wipe each roller starting on the right side of the roller and wiping to the left. Use your finger to turn the roller down as you finish cleaning a section of the roller. Make sure that you remove any buildup or debris from the entire surface of the rollers. Wait for the rollers to dry. While the clean-out door is off, check the hard plastic rollers. Note if any rollers are missing, don't roll freely, or are not springy when you push on them. These conditions could prevent rollers from feeding properly and mean that the clean-out door needs to be replaced. Once the rollers are dry, reinsert the clean-out door. To do this, gently push the door into the clean-out area and push down until it snaps into place. Close the cartridge access door. Turn to the back. Reconnect the power cord. Return to the front. Press the power button to turn the printer on. Align a stack of paper by tapping it on a flat surface. Then slide out the input tray. Load paper into the input tray until it stops. Slide the paper width guide inward until it stops at the edge of the paper. Do not push the guide in so tightly that it starts to bend the paper. Slide in the input tray. Try printing a page directly from the printer's control panel to see if the issue is resolved. On the control panel, press the right arrow to display additional options. Touch Setup. Then touch Tools. Touch Printer Status Report. If the page prints successfully, the issue is resolved. You can resume printing as normal. If the page does not print, go on to the next step. Sometimes, the issue can be resolved by resetting the printer. The printer must still be on for these steps to work. Turn to the back. While the printer is still on, disconnect the power cord from the printer. Then, disconnect the other end of the power cord from its power source. Wait 15 seconds. It is important to wait the full 15 seconds to allow the print mechanism to reset. Reconnect the power cord into its power source. Then, reconnect the other end of the power cord into the printer. Return to the front. If the printer does not automatically turn on, press the power button to turn on the printer. Try printing a page directly from the printer's control panel to see if the issue is resolved. On the control panel, Press the right arrow to display additional options. Touch Setup. Then touch Tools. Touch Printer Status Report. If the page prints successfully, the issue is resolved. You can reconnect the USB cable and resume printing as normal. If the page does not print, go on to the next step. If you've tried everything described in this video and you still have a problem, your printer likely needs some type of service.
Contact HP to find out what the support options are for your printer. Your options for service may vary depending on how long you've owned it and what country you live in.